Okay, so this talk uh, is a slight uh, continuation or add-in to a previous talk where we figured out how to determine the radius of convergence and interval of convergence of our series where the coefficients grow or decay exponentially. What was the chief idea? What is the basic idea? How do you determine the radius of convergence? Mm -hmm. How do you determine the radius of convergence? Coefficients grow or decay exponentially. Exponentially? Yeah. That's what we did, right? Yeah, that's the uh, reciprocal of Lamson. Of this Lamson, so, which is essentially you just figure out the exponential parts in your thing. Mm -hmm. You just figure out what, what the growth rate is. And then you take the reciprocal. And then the degree difference test or whatever that. So basically that tells you the radius of convergence. And now for the endpoints, you have to plug in the endpoints and evaluate. And when you plug in the endpoints, the exponential part doesn't matter. And this is some exponential part which matters now. Mm -hmm. And figuring out whether that converges or not is essentially, you typically have to use something like the degree difference test. Okay. Uh, we did a few examples of that. You can watch the previous video where we went through these examples. But now we're going to do some slightly trickier examples. So let's look at these. k times 2 to the k times x to the 2k times k square plus, oh sorry, divided by k square plus 1. So the Main trick now is your exponent is no longer k, it's 2k. Okay? Okay. So, how are, what is the radius of convergence? One half. Oh, no, really. Well, if it had just been x to the k, then you would have been graphed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. One half. So, you learned that the would last, be last, last. One over. Square root of 2. Yeah. So this will actually be 1 over square root of 2 with the radius of convergence. The so growth rate of the coefficients is like square root 2. So basically, the 2kth coefficient is 2 to the k, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the coefficient is actually like square root 2. Square root 2 to the 2k. Okay? Because you want to match the exponents here. That's important. And then. So, so that, that's what, in order to take the link soup, you have to match the exponents, okay? And, and really, that's actually, that's why we had link soup. Because you'll notice now, if you, if you directly try to take the limit, it doesn't make sense because some of the co terms don't have, have, have coefficients, right? The odd power of x don't have coefficients. So if you did it, the limit does, wouldn't exist if you try to do this, but the link soup would, and it would be root 2. So the radius of convergence is, so the limit, right now. So the limb soup is, Root 2, the radius of convergence is 1 over root 2, and now the interval of convergence. Well, now you have to figure out the endpoints. Well, the degree difference of the polynomial part is 1. Mm -hmm. So it's. But remember this. Yep. It's okay. So it's both open. Both open, good. Right, so, so this 2k is actually playing a role at two levels, right? Uh -huh. First of all, it's it's telling you that actually you, you have to take root 2 instead of 2. You get 1 over root 2 instead of just 1 over 2. But it's also playing a role at another place, which is it's it's telling you that you actually don't have a sign alternation when you plug in either uh, minus 1 or 1. Okay, mm -hmm. because the exponents in the search. It's open both ends. Good. Okay, the next one. Okay, the next one is. So, what's the limb soup? And what's the radius of convergence? What's the integral of convergence? Lim soup is square root of 3. No, the limb soup is 1 over square root of 3. The radius of is square root of 3, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And the interval of convergence. Do you have sign alternation at 1? Not 1. Do you have sign alternation when you plug in root 3? Yes. Do you have sign alternation? 
they're all odd powers, right? Do oh. you get sign alternation? No. You don't get sign alternation anywhere. So it's open both ends. The degree difference is one. Mm -hmm. So, okay, the next one. The next one will be negative square root of two. What's the limb soup? You're taking absolute. When you take radius, one, it's all absolute value. So the limb soup is? Square root of two. The radius of convergence is? 1 over square root of 2. 1 over square root of 2. The interval of convergence is what? It's open on both ends. Do you have sign alternation when you plug in square root 2? Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, yeah, we do, yeah. So we use close on right and open on right. Well, do you have sign alternation when you're on the right? Mm hmm. So it's closed on both ends. Because the minus 1 to the k is, is is giving you sign alternation, whether x is plus or minus, right? Yeah. It's tricky. It's tricky. I already have them done. That's why. Otherwise, I will also get confused. Okay, let's should we, should we just go over these three again and then do the fourth one. So go the first one, how did we do it? So originally it said k time, this was 2 to the k, you made it 2, 2 to the 2k to match this. So you got the limb soup is root 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, just explain how you, the radius one is 1 over root 2. How do you get the interval of convergence? You have the degree difference, which is 1. Which is 1. So you want to see if it is... So it's 1, sure so it, it's not it's... absolutely convergent, definitely. It's not absolutely convergent. The only way it can converge is the sign alternation, right? Yeah. Okay, and then? And there is no sign alternation. Because it's even powers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, actually, when you plug in x as 1 over root 2, that 1 over root will cancel the root 2 and you'll just be left with, uh, with, with 1. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the, the, the next one? The next one is the same logic. Same logic. Although you have odd powers, you can just pull a single x out if you want, and then it would be exactly the same, right? But because it's in the denominator, the limb soup, you get one over root three. The radius of you make root three, and the interval of convergence is negative root three to root three. Mm -hmm. Okay. This third one. This is the tricky one, right? So explain this again. This one just. This one. Well, the in terms of the open or close, mm -hmm. the x to the two k because it's always. Even so, mm -hmm. there is no alternating sign coming from that part. Yeah. But negative two to the k is actually. Yeah. Well, this would we actually be like two to the k to times the k. negative to the one to the k. The two, if you plug in these endpoints, then the two to the k part would cancel, and it would just be the negative one to the k. Mm -hmm. That would be the sign alternation, and so the sign alternation is both things. So therefore, you have. Okay. Uh, what about the last one? Now you have three k here. Supposed to be three. Thank you. That's the limb soup. Okay, what's the radius of convergence? One over. What's the interval of convergence? The interval of convergence will be closed on the left and open on the right. Okay, great. So what what's the summary? Uh, what what are, what are the two things going on? Well, one is one is that when you have a power, when you have x to the power of something times k, right? Mm -hmm. Then 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 your coefficient growth rate you have to adjust. You have to take that corresponding root, mm -hmm. right? You have to do that adjustment, and that adjustment affects the radius convergence. The other thing is that depending on whether the thing here is even or odd, that will affect whether you have sign alternation. If the thing here is even, then you won't have sign alternation at either end point. If it's odd, you have the usual sign alternation. But things could get even more complicated if you have an extra minus one to the k on mm -hmm. the outside, right? Then you will have sign alternation at uh, both ends for an even thing. Okay. Okay. Good.